guys welcome back to the channel I'm a little late to the party for the downpipe removal and installation but the downpipe is already out and one of the things I wanted to go over was the way to get it out on the uh, 2019 GLI so let me get under the car all right guys so I'm underneath the car and one of the main things you need to do to swing the factory downpipe out is loosen the dog bone that way you're able to if you look the hole's not lining up because he placed a block of wood here to push the motor toward the front from the bottom side so this is the front of the vehicle and this is going backwards there's your dog bone mount here and then you're basically going to pry the motor i'll show you the holes how it moves you're going to pry the motor a little bit like that that way it allows enough room to be able to swing the downpipe out from back that way so that's one of the main things, otherwise it won't come out in this car, it's very tight. So that's the main takeaway from this, everything else should go pretty smooth, pretty simple, he said. I'm a little late to the party, so I didn't get to see it come out, but that's it. I'm going to show the two downpipes, factory and aftermarket, next to each other after this. But that's the main takeaway as far as getting it out, so I just wanted to document that. Also when I'm under here, I wanted to point out... The um, LSD was replaced on this car for that leak in one of the last videos. It was coming from here. Everything is dry. And if you can see, the whole entire unit, everything is replaced. It's all brand new. So they actually swapped out the whole entire LSD on this car to fix that leak. They didn't bother to actually fix it. They just replaced it, which, in my opinion, that's better. So that's, that's good news. LSD is fixed. That's why downpipe's going back in nice and dry. All brand new. So that's the update on that as well. So this is the CTS turbo downpipe for the 2019 GLI. It's three and a half inch downpipe with a cat. So start opening it up. Hold on. This is your reducer since that's to go to the stock exhaust. I'm just gonna I'm gonna lay it all out over here so we could. Match the other one up once we pull it out. There's the downpipe with the V-band. Turn it around. See it? O2 bung. There's your cat. This cat's by Magnaflow. See, there you go. They didn't say how many cell it was. I'm assuming it's around the 300 cell cat by the size. And this is your reducer. Is that the reducer? I'm pretty sure that is. Ooh, don't drop it. Yeah, it's just bent in a little bit. Yeah, and that's your reducer. So that's what the, the downpipe looks like. We'll show a comparison compared to the factory one as well. These are the two downpipes. There's the aftermarket one and there's the factory one. You see the first cat, very big. Then there's no primary cat here. You got your O2 right here. Hopefully it doesn't get a check engine light. We'll see what happens. Your flex. And then you have your secondary cat, and then just the one the one cat on the uh, aftermarket. All right, so to get these these this hanger off, you have to drill it out, and it'll just pop off. We already did one. So you have to, you'll see, we'll do this one so you can see it pop out. And it pops right out. There's no other way to get it out. Because they riveted on. Then you can put that. There you go, manhandle it. <laughs> I don't know why they're even on there. It's gonna stay on just fine. Mm -hmm. It's like an unnecessary. I think they just don't want people. Uh... Yeah. But you gotta drill them out. 
No big deal. Guess those aren't going back on. Just gonna hang that wire. Just to make it well, you got the V. Place. You want me to get the V band? Uh, well, I'm just gonna put this because you still can maneuver it. Oh, okay, I just want to so it doesn't uh, too well, much. it's already up and in. He just had to take the uh, cat out from the back from the uh, the secondary cat out I from the aftermarket. That, that way, it slid in a little better. Then I'll put it back on just to make room. So, you got the bolt fastened? Yep, I can let it go. Yep, yep, okay. Oh, nope. <laughs> um, I guess oh, let me get that V-band. Uh, Hold on. Alright, got the V-band on. Now, we switch the bolt around to the front side. That way it's easier to service. There's no point in having it on the back side like it is factory and working hard. Just in case you want to remove it or have to remove it for whatever reason. So, V-band's on. Nice clean fit. We're gonna button it up from the bottom side, put it back together, start it up, see how it sounds, and then see how it runs. V band uh, Allen head is a uh, six millimeter. You could either use an Allen wrench or a tool like this to make life a little bit easier, but six millimeter for that bolt, and you're good to go. I'm gonna go over these bolts, these are for the dog bone. This is the rear part of the dog bone, and this is the front. They're both 18 millimeters. Just for reference, so uh, it's easier to find what tool you need. 18s. Also, the bolts that hold these on are 13 millimeter. The bolts that go onto this bracket, this is the factory piece, that go onto this bracket, that hold onto the car, that plate that we were drilling out, that is. 13 millimeter as well, and the exhaust clamps 13 millimeter as well. So everything is 13 millimeters aside from those other couple two sizes I just showed you. So that'll make life a little bit easier if you go to do this job. Market clamps are 15 mil. Oh, can't zoom, but you'll see those are 15. They're a little bit smaller than the factory. Everything factory was 17, right? 13. 13. I'm sorry, 13. These are 15. These are larger. So everything aftermarket is a little bit bigger now. Down pipe's all in, everything's buttoned up, we're about to take it out. So that was pr pretty much how the installation went, everything went pretty good. He actually got the car tinted yesterday, so he can't roll down the windows, it looks a lot better. Went with the same tints I have in my car, which are 3M, 25% premium film. It's nice and black. And the downpipe sounds pretty good. Sounds better. Definitely sounds better. Got more sound. We'll see when we take it out under some load. See how much better it sounds. See if we hear any spooling. Try to get some video of that as well. And I just wanted to sum up about the whole LSD. He did get the whole entire unit replaced while the car was in the shop. They did not end up repairing it like I was saying underneath the car that I showed you that clip. So that's a good thing. Everything is nice and good to go and everything should be smooth on out from here. So now we're going to take it out. We'll see if we throw a check engine light, which is a possibility since that O2 is not being uh, filtered by a cat. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully not, but I have a feeling it might pop on. So then we'll have to just work through that and see what we need to do to correct that issue. So we'll get to the driving video in a few. A quick pull just to show some sound performance. car's not tuned yet this is just the downpipe the JP4 isn't back in the car so this is a stock form with CTS turbo cat a downpipe definitely here from the inside can't roll the windows down because the tints just got done so we have to make do but once it hits four grand you could hear it really spool
right, guys, that wraps it up. That was the 2019 GLI with the CTS turbo catted downpipe. Everything seems to be good in all those pulls we did. So far, still no check engine light, which is a good thing, but we'll have to take some more time and he'll have to drive the car on the highway and put some real mileage on it to see if he actually is gonna get that check engine light or not. So stay tuned for that. We'll update you on that. And we're just gonna keep moving forward and he's gonna continue on the build with his. I'll be continuing the build with mine over there, the Accord. So stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Take care guys.